The next presentations are the first group of scholarships that will be awarded this evening. These scholarships are presented by a family member or representative of an organization that presents the various scholarships. These individuals would have loved to have been able to present their scholarship in person, but are glad that they are still able to extend their message of their scholarship and honor of the award to a deserving candidate. Hello, I am Derek McDermott, board chair of the Chilton Area Community Foundation and affiliate of the Community Foundation for the Fox Valley region. Our foundation was established 19 years ago with the mission to help people who wanted to give back to the community in order to have a meaningful and lasting legacy, thereby enhancing the quality of life for people in the area. Such giving back is certainly needed in these difficult times. A prime example of such giving is the establishment of an endowed scholarship fund. I am pleased to announce award winners for four of the Foundation's scholarship funds. The first is a $1,000 scholarship from the Edward J. Casper Family Scholarship Fund. Education, public service, and a strong work ethic were important to Mr. Casper. The successful businessman and community supporter. It is my pleasure to award this year's scholarship to Brady Glidden. Congratulations, Brady. The Katie Haymauer Memorial Scholarship was established in loving memory of Katie by her family. Katie was a 2000 graduate and valedictorian of Stockbridge High School. She was an intelligent, cheerful, and vibrant person who loved school and also loved to hunt and fish. She majored in environmental science at UWGB. Katie was a groundwater specialist with Calumet County when her life was tragically taken by a drunk driver in 2005. The fund in her name helps graduates of Chilton and Stockbridge High Schools continue their education in the area of Katie's passion, science. It is my, ple it is my pleasure to award this year's $500 scholarship to Emily Elizabeth Maney. Congratulations, Emily. The Violet and Reuben Locke Memorial Scholarship Fund was created by Violet with a $1.2 million bequest gift from her estate to the foundation to provide annual scholarships to graduates from six Calumet County High Schools. Violet was a teacher in the area for 49 years and a substitute into her 80s. Reuben owned and ran Lock Cheese Factory for 44 years until it was sold in 1987. Both were involved in many service organizations and clubs throughout their lives. Their generosity will continue through the fund in their names. It is my pleasure to award two $3,750 scholarships, one to Emily Hurl and one to Sophie Brandt. Congratulations to both Emily and Sophie. The foundation is pleased to award four scholarships from the Henry and Dolores Hammer Scholarship Fund. This fund was established by an estate gift from Henry and Dolores Hammer. They wanted to benefit worthy graduates from Chilton High School who planned to attend an accredited two or four year college or university. Both Henry and Dolores were hardworking, humble, lifelong residents of Chilton. It is my pleasure to award two $2,000 scholarships to attend a two year college, one to Allison Beasy and one to Erica Blado and two $6,000 scholarships to attend a four-year college or university, one to Tessa Rudig and one to Ben Savage. Congratulations to all four of you, Allison, Erica, Tessa, and Ben. Congratulations to all the 2020 graduates from Chilton High School. The future awaits you. Grab it and do your parents, your community, and yourself proud. Good luck. Thank you. The Jerome and Irene Alton Memorial Scholarship was established in 2017 within the Chilton Area Community Foundation as a provision of the last will and testament of Irene Alton. Irene's desire was to provide support for graduating seniors from Chilton High School, not based on financial need, 
nor those with the highest academic success, but rather Irene's wish was to support those students who have shown an ambition, a desire and ability to pursue higher education. It is my pleasure to present this year's Jerome and Irene Alton Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 to Emily Holtz. Congratulations, Emily. The Promise Scholarship was created in 2011 to recognize a senior at Chilton High School who, despite differences in background, has overcome those differences with a positive attitude, a desire to learn, and to make a better future for themselves, their family, and their community. The Promise Scholarship awards up to $1,500 per year and may be renewed up to four and a half years for a total of $6,750. I'm proud to present this year's Promise Scholarship to Megan Prupson. Congratulations, Megan. A $2,000 scholarship is being awarded from the Tim Rhino Memorial Scholarship Fund within the Chilton Area Community Foundation, an affiliate of the Community Foundation of the Fox Valley. Tim loved sports and throughout his high school career played tennis, football, baseball, and basketball. He had many friends and enjoyed life to its fullest. He loved the outdoors and enjoyed hunting and fishing. Tim passed away unexpectedly in 2001 at the age of 24. This scholarship was established by the Rhinel family in Tim's loving memory. I'm honored to present this $2,000 scholarship award to Haley Schwob. Congratulations, Haley. Hi, I'm Chris Meady. And I'm Liz Dehart. And we are the daughters of the late Leo and Jeanette Steiner. This annual scholarship was created by their 16 children in honor of their parents when they were alive and now to honor their memories. Leo was a 1944 graduate of Chilton High School. Education has always been important to the family and all 16 of the children went on to some form of further education, including the earning of doctorates and masters. This scholarship, which is part of the Community Foundation for the Fox Valley Region, was created to help graduates from Chilton and Holstein High Schools who will be furthering their educations in either an agriculture or education-related field. These fields were chosen as they were the fields that our parents, Leon and Jeanette Steiner, spent most of their lives working in. This year's recipient is a fitting winner. She has been active in the FFA and the Honor Society. She is a blood donor, which is something my father did most of his life. She plans to attend the University of Wisconsin Stevens Point and study biology. She is a fitting recipient of the 2020 Leo and Jeanette Steiner Family Foundation Scholarship in the amount of $1,000. This year's winner is Julia Breckheimer. Congratulations, Julia. Congratulations. Hey everyone, I just want to tell you that I miss you and I'm sending you all a big hug. Tonight I'm asked to present the Millie Mortimer Memorial Scholarship. Millie was not only a dear friend of mine, but she was one of the kindest, most helpful people I've had the pleasure of working with here at CHS. Her husband developed this scholarship to recognize someone with those same qualities, and it gives me great pleasure to announce that this year's recipient of the Millie Mortimer Memorial Scholarship is Patrick Kelman. Congratulations, Patrick. My name is Ida Berg. Two $500 scholarships are being awarded from the Kenesha Fleming Smile Beautiful Scholarship within the Chilton Area Community Foundation, an affiliate of the Community Foundation for the Fox Valley region. Kenesha was someone who impacted her community and strengthened the people around her. Since her youth, she actively sought out community service projects in order to make other people's lives better. There is nothing that can compare to the caring, inspirational, and magnetic personality that Kanisha possessed. In December 2013, she was diagnosed with high-risk acute leukemia. Tragically, Kanisha lost her short battle at the age of 22 in January 2014. This scholarship was established in her memory by her loving family and friends. It is my pleasure to present this year's scholarships to Brady Glidden, and Evan Schmitz. 
Congratulations. Hello, I'm Michelle Hurth, and this is my husband, Gerald, and we are presenting the Adam Hurth Memorial Scholarship. We know this is not how you wanted your senior year to end, but like so many others, you need to put one foot in front of the other and move forward. You are heading down a new road, a new chapter in your life, and we know you will succeed. You will have many feelings as you do move forward, happiness, fear, grief, and many other feelings. I hope you will also feel honored and humbled as you receive these scholarships. You have worked hard to get here and you have hard work ahead of you. So many people want to support you and help you achieve your goals that they have set aside money in memory of loved ones that they have lost. Please work hard and set out to achieve great things. We are one of those families who lost a loved one. In 2004, our son Adam died at the age of 16. He was a strong athlete, energetic, outgoing, and a very friendly student. He would always look for positive qualities in everyone that he met. Adam enjoyed helping out as many friends and family members that he could, and that is why we started the scholarship, to continue to help students as we know Adam would have done. We have many people to thank who have helped us in our journey. The Chilton Wrestling Club, along with the Chilton Community Foundation and the Scholarship Selection Committee are instrumental in helping to make this scholarship possible. We also need to thank our families, friends, and the community members of Chilton and the surrounding areas who support us with our golf outing, which helps to fund the scholarship. This year, we are honored to award the Adam Hearth Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $500 to Maverick Ott. Job well done, Mav. A $500 scholarship is being awarded from the Chilton Area Community Foundation Grant Richmond Memorial Scholarship administered by the Community Foundation for the Fox Valley Region. This scholarship was established in 2018 by the best friends of Grant Richmond to honor and continue the giving legacy of their best friend. Grant exemplified what it meant to be a Chilton Tiger by devoting himself to his school, community, family, and friends in Milwaukee, Chilton, Madison, and everywhere in between. It is my pleasure to present this year's scholarship to Heather Carls. Congratulations! My name is Cindy Banger, and I am honored to announce the recipient of our very first $500 award for the Nicole Bangert Memorial Scholarship within the Chilton Area Community Foundation, administered by the Community Foundation for the Fox Valley Region. This scholarship has been established in memory of our daughter, Nicole, a 2010 graduate of Chilton High School, by the generosity of her family, friends, and community. Nicole strived for academic excellence and receiving only one A- minus in her entire high school career, she graduated with highest honors and as co-salutatorian. She excelled in band and art throughout her high school years and had a great love for performing on stage in many plays and musicals. In her free time, she played piano, read countless books, spent many hours helping out on the family farm, and just spending time in nature. Nicole will forever be remembered by those close to her as an ambitious, creative, and intelligent young woman who worked hard to achieve her goals while maintaining her affection for loved ones, animals, and the great outdoors. It is my pleasure to announce that the recipient of this scholarship is Bryce Byrne. Congratulations, Bryce. Hello, and congrats to the class of 2020. My name is Luke Colby, and I will be presenting the Matt Colby Memorial Scholarship. The Matt Colby Memorial Scholarship was created in 2011, shortly after the unfortunate passing of one of Chilton High School's happiest students and most exuberant sports fans, Matt Colby. For those of you that didn't know my brother Matt, he was a student here at Chilton High School with Down syndrome and numerous other health challenges that he had to face throughout his life. He remains in our hearts to this day. One of Matt's greatest passions was sports, through competing in Special Olympics and becoming involved in a number of the high school sports teams. 
He attended numerous sporting events and thoroughly enjoyed cheering on family and friends, even serving as team manager for a number of the teams. He was always there to help you feel good despite a bad day at the plate or from the free throw line. Matt also had a personality that could light up a room. Matt's loving personality and the way he lived his life by accepting others resonated throughout the student body and the community. He's, he has had a lasting impact on this school and community, though he is no longer with us today. This is what inspired our family 10 years ago to create the Matt Kobe Memorial Scholarship and help keep Matt's memory alive while promoting the way he lived his life by putting others first and accepting everyone as they are. Our scholarship is awarded to individuals that exemplify these loving, accepting, and selfless characteristics. Tonight's recipient of the Matt Kobe Memorial Scholarship will receive a $500 scholarship, and this year's award is presented to Haley Schwope. Thank you and congratulations. Kyle Haymauer grew up in Chilton and graduated from Chilton High School in 2002. Kyle was an excellent student and an exceptional human being who did not seek out accolades. In school, he was honored for his academics, his participation in classes, and on the football field as a punter. His friends characterized him as a quiet man, but his character spoke volumes. Kyle Haymauer was a caring and compassionate person who truly respected his community and his country. After high school, Kyle joined the Army National Guards as a means to a better life. While on his journey and in support of Operation Enduring Freedom, Kyle was killed in Afghanistan on May 23, 2005. Through the loving support of his family, his friends, and the community of Chilton, the memory of Kyle Haymauer lives on through the Scholarship of Honor. The recipients of this scholarship are selected because they share Kyle's passion for community service and love of this country. This year's $1,000 Kyle Haymauer Scholarship of Honor recipient is Allison Beasy. Congratulations, Allison. Her name will be engraved on the plaque in the high school commons. Tom Mulatto was a varsity football coach at Chilton High School from 2003 to 2013. Tom served as the defensive backs coach and quickly established himself as a favorite among the players he led. Affectionately known as Ranger Tom, Players of all shapes and sizes wanted to join his position group and become a Ranger. In 2008, Tom was selected by Packerland coaches as Assistant Coach of the Year, who praised the aggressive style of play he instilled in his players. Sadly, on January 26, Tom lost his battle against Alzheimer's disease. Knowing how much working with student athletes meant to Tom, our family has established a scholarship in his name for a senior football player transitioning to a post-secondary education. The football coaching staff was asked to select a young man who personified the characteristics and traits Tom demanded of his players, including hard work and a self-sacrificing attitude. The recipient of the 2020 Tom Mulata Memorial Scholarship is Maverick Ott. According to the coaching staff who made this selection, Maverick was a selfless leader who would go out of his way to look out for others, making sure all of his teammates were taken care of. Maverick would never ask anything for himself, didn't care where he played or what was asked of him. Not once did Maverick put individual aspirations ahead of team goals. Congratulations, Maverick, and best wishes to you in all of your future endeavors. Hi, everyone. We're listening, learning, and hearing the reasons and stories of why the scholarships provided and presented here were established. It's not easy to be flooded with memories, and yet this is not just a time for somberness. It's a time for reflection and to be joyous and grateful to the many families and organizations in this community and beyond that understand the importance of continuing education after high school, whether it be as an apprentice, earning and receiving an associate's or a bachelor's degree. 
As a teacher, education has been a very important part of my life, obviously. I am here to present the Michael P. Pleshek Scholarship in honor of my late husband. This annual scholarship was first presented to the CHS graduating class of 2013, which our son Nathaniel was a member of. Mike has a keen, had a keen sense of humor. He also had a way with words, both written and oral. One of his favorite phrases to say to others was, I am a cesspool of useless information, which was very handy when we needed a trivia question answered. He also, when asked, how you doing? Or some such similar phrase would put his fingers on his pulse and say, still ticking. These memories still make me smile. He also loved the phrase, I wish I knew half as much as an adult as I thought I did at 18. This is said to help you realize that each and every day of life is a le learning experience and the culmination is so much more than we can realize at the ripe young age of 18. He loved learning and gaining knowledge. Mike earned his first Bachelor of Science degree in Reclamation from the University of wisconsin Platteville. While continuing to work full-time at Aaron's, he earned a second Bachelor of Science degree in Mechanical Engineering from the University of wisconsin Platteville via the University of Fox Valley campus. There seemed to never be enough time for Mike to fulfill his love of the outdoors, which included his favorite activities of fishing, hunting, and just spending time up north. He also had great talent with woodworking and those objects he constructed are cherished. His talents in music were legendary among his family, friends, and many in this community. Just a couple of examples. For the dedication of the Angler Center, he collaborated on the song Chilton Pride with Mr. Aaron Jewell. Mike wrote the lyrics to Mr. Jewell's music composition. A poem he wrote probably during his college years, Variations on Reality, was shared with Mr. Jonathan Cobbs, the first recipient of this scholarship who composed a choral music arrangement that was performed here by the CHS Concert Chorale in May 2015. His guitar playing was as good as many professionals and he performed in a number of bands and sang at many weddings and church events during his short life. I, along with our three children, Anthony, Nathaniel, and Jenna, decided after Mike's death from pan pancreatic cancer in December 2010 that monies donated as memorials would help further the education of others. Through the help of a committee consisting of teachers, community members, and the family, it is my pleasure to announce the Michael P. Pleshek Scholarship in the amount of $300 is awarded to Emily Holtz. Hi, my name is Becky Lemke and I am here to present the scholarship for the Chilton Athletic Club. For many years, the Chilton ACs have worked hard to provide boys and girls in kindergarten through eighth grade the opportunity to play baseball and softball. Our organization raises funds through our concession stand, hosting baseball and softball tournaments, and the pot of gold raffle at home football games. These funds help us to give scholarships to graduating seniors. We grant the scholarships based on six characteristics. Leadership work ethic, character, commitment, volunteering, and giving back to the school and community. This year's recipients exhibited these qualities and more that will help them to be successful in their future endeavors. I am proud to announce this year's scholarship recipients are Brady Glidden, Hope Meyer, Anna Kreider, and Ryan Breckel. Congratulations, seniors, and best wishes to you as you move on to life's next adventure. Hey everyone, my name is Joe Halbuck. I'm president of the Booster Club, also known as the CBC. The Chilton Booster Club is a community ran and set up to support school sanctioned sports grades 7 through 12. The club works directly with the school district to strive for athletic improvement. The CBC gives out three $500 scholarships each year. The scholarship is intended to support seniors 
who have an extended commitment to high school sports, who have participated and volunteered for the CBC sponsored activities, whose parents have been involved in CBC, who have overall community involvement and shows moral character, leadership, and sportsmanship. I'd like to recognize the first two recipients in front of the new baseball scoreboard that the CBC helped purchase. One of many items that the Booster Club have helped the school purchase through the years. Congratulations to Ryan Breckel and Brady Glidden. I am now in front of the new softball scoreboard, which the CBC also helped the school purchase. To recognize our third and final recipient, congratulations to Mariah May. Thanks to all three of you for your commu commitment to Chilton Athletics. Good luck with your next step in your life. Each year, our club holds many activities in our community that generate dollars, which we try to give back to the community in various ways. One of those ways is through the awarding of scholarships to graduating seniors planning to continue their education after high school. The high school scholarship committee chooses the recipients for our scholarships. I'm honored to present two scholarships on behalf of the Chilton Lions Club this year in the amount of $300 each. One to Austin, Maine, and one to Anna Kreider. I would like to present the Father David Crystal Scholarship from the Chilton Optimist Club. In his quest to help young people and prior to his death in 1992, Father David Crystal, one of the founding members of the Chilton Optimist Club, asked the Optimist Board of Directors to set up an annual scholarship for Chilton High School seniors. A few years ago, the club doubled the number of scholarships to be awarded in his name. In all this year's applicants, two qualities stood out above and beyond all the involvements. An incredible drive to serve others and an equal love of learning and drive to excel in their chosen career fields. If we could put on a profit hat, we would venture to say that these two students will go far in realizing their goals and having started volunteering at such early ages, we could foresee them continuing along those paths. This year's scholarship recipients are Emily Holtz, and Tessa Rudig. Congratulations from the Chilton Optimists. My name is Corey Binky. I'm presenting the following scholarships on behalf of the Chilton Wrestling Club. The Chilton Wrestling Club recognizes and supports students and families who participate in wrestling from grade school through high school. The club and its supporters believe that wrestling promotes values and a work ethic that will serve these students in school and beyond. Each year, the Chilton Wrestling Club, as part of its efforts to support all aspects of wrestling in our community, recognizes senior wrestlers that apply and have been active in the club for three of the four years of high school by awarding them a $400 scholarship. This year, the Chilton Wrestling Club would like to recognize Dylan Anhalt, Trent Breckheimer, Kaden Michalowski, Maverick Gott, and Bryce Verb. Congratulations, senior wrestlers. The Chilton Youth Club takes pride in providing community service in and around Chilton for students in grades 5K through 12. The group assists the Salvation Army with an annual food drive and provides cards and good cheer to area nursing homes throughout the year along with other community projects. On behalf of the Chilton Youth Club, we are proud to present Mariah Main with the Chilton Youth Club $500 scholarship this year. Congratulations, Mariah. Greetings, 2020 graduates of Chilton High School. This is Dawn Pingle and Kim Lizaway with the Chilton FFA alumni. This scholarship is established to reward students who participate in the Chilton FFA active chapter in high school and plan to obtain post-secondary education in an agricultural field. 
the FFA alumni recognizes the dynamic role agriculture has in our economy. We have two recipients this year. Our first recipient is known for her outgoing and inclusive personality and communication skills have given her the opportunity to be successful in many leadership roles. She is easily able to lead others by displaying perseverance, kindness and empathy and setting a positive example. I would like to congratulate Emily Elizabeth Maney with a $250 scholarship. Our second recipient is a very focused young man with an ambitious plan for his future. When most students his age were just working on their grades and spending time with friends, he has been the operations manager, accountant, laborer, and personal manager for his business. We'd like to congratulate Ben Nagel with a $250 scholarship. We would also like to congratulate all of the 2020 seniors. Wish you all success and happiness with your futures. On behalf of Student Council, we would like to present two $300 scholarships to two very deserving seniors who have been members of CHS Student Council. The first recipient has been on CHS Student Council for her last three years of high school. During her time on council, she has made every effort to give a voice to all members of her school and community. She has always been an exemplary member of council and CHS. This young lady served as class representative for the class of 2020 for her sophomore and junior years, along with class treasurer for her senior year. In addition, she was elected to the Student Council Executive Board in the position of treasurer for the 2019-2020 school year, where she served on and led many committees. In that position, she was able to be an incredible leader on council and worked extremely hard to make our school an even better place. The second recipient served as Student Council President and Board of Education Representative during the 2019-2020 school year. She has been integral in the growth and success that Student Council has had in our school. She is a strong leader who has always given greatly of herself to both the school and community. In addition to being Student Council President, she has served on Council for all four years of her high school career in the positions of class representative and class vice president, along with serving on council's executive board as secretary for two years. This young lady has left a lasting and positive impact on our school, community, and organization that will thrive for many years to come. The leadership and contributions brought to CHS Student Council by both of these extraordinary women will be greatly missed. We are pleased to present these scholarships to Emily Holtz, and Sophie Brandt. Hi, my name is Rachel Sonnenteig, and I am the Manager of Marketing and Communications with the Community Blood Center. For 65 years, CBC has provided the blood needed by hospitals and patients throughout Northeastern and North Central Wisconsin and beyond. And for 65 years, high school students have been instrumental in helping do this. Through a commitment to blood donation, students are supporting their local community and giving back to help others in a way that is incredibly selfless. The Community Blood Center offers a high school scholarship program to support local students pursuing higher education. Students who are blood donors and community advocates are encouraged to apply for a scholarship. This scholarship recognizes a student's dedication, achievement, leadership, and commitment to saving lives. This year, I am pleased to award a high school scholarship at Chilton High School to Anna Critter. Congratulations, Anna. The Daughters of the American Revolution is an organization with a deep, rich history while also being truly relevant in today's world. More than one million women have joined the organization since it was founded over 125 years ago. These members go on to honor their heritage as well as make a difference in their communities across the country and across the world. The Fond du Lac chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution each year awards a scholarship in the amount of $200 to a Chilton High School senior who exemplifies the characteristics of this organization. The winner of this year's Daughters of the American Revolutionary Revolution Scholarship is Emily Hurl. Congratulations, Emily.
The Wisconsin Society of Professional Engineers is the only society in Wisconsin which represents all branches of engineering. They are the only active, established organization devoting its entire effort to the professional, ethical, economic, political, and social aspects of engineering in our state. The Wisconsin Society of Professional Engineers and the Engineers Foundation of Wisconsin established a scholarship for students pursuing higher education in all areas of engineering. The hope of this scholarship is to provide assistance to students as they pursue a challenging and rewarding career field. This scholarship is competitive and is awarded to four students across the state, which recognizes them for their outstanding leadership qualities, scholastic achievement, and contributions to their school and community. This year's Wisconsin Engineers Foundation Scholarship and $2,000 is awarded to Ben Nagel. Congratulations, Ben. The University of Wisconsin Platteville Richland Scholarship Committee would like to award the Lonnie and Richard Weber Scholarship in the amount of $500 to a high school senior looking to attend the University of Wisconsin Platteville Richland. This scholarship is based on academic excellence and it is an award in which the recipient should be justifiably proud. The, uh, the Lonnie and Richard Weber Scholarship in the amount of $500 is awarded to Rachel Bowman. I'm here today to present the Calumet County Coordinated Community Response Team 2020 Soul Spirit of Understanding Leadership Scholarship. The Calumet County Coordinated Response Team is a group whose mission is to develop, nurture, and sustain a community free of abuse and violence through collaboration. This team consists of members of various professions, including the Calumet County District Attorney's Office, Harbor House Domestic Abuse Programs, the Sexual Assault Crisis Center of the Fox Valley, Wisconsin Department of Corrections, Calumet County Health and Human Services, and local law enforcement agencies. This scholarship was created to award a high school senior for their social responsiveness, support, and leadership towards creating healthy relationships in their schools. This is the last year that this scholarship will be presented, and this group couldn't think of a more deserving person to receive it in its final year. Our recipient has an outlook on our world that is contagious. She starts her essay by saying the only way society can grow is through kindness. She has used this principle to help guide her throughout her school career in her very leadership positions within her school and REACH, the county's drug-free coalition which has helped 32 teens quit their tobacco habits. She's the youngest member of REACH and serves as the liaison between the schools and the county. Through REACH, she has attended the Community Anti-Drug Coalitions of America's National Conference and graduated from the National Coalition Academy held this past February in Washington, D.C. She recognizes that her solid roots and outlook on life has allowed her to reach a new growth that others could not. This is why she hopes to become a criminal justice lawyer and offer legal services and advice to those who need it most. She ends her essay with my career, scholar, familial, and personal goals all circulate around one theme, helping others. After all, without a cohesive effort, society cannot improve itself. Why should I sit back and expect others to work for a better environment for everyone, to make my utopian of equal opportunities for all a reality? I have to work. This year's scholarship is being awarded to Sophie Brandt, for the positive impact she's made on Chilton School District and the community at large. Congratulations, Sophie. Thank you for the impact you've had on our community. We wish you the very best in your future endeavors.